Ooh, what's going on? Another video. Today I might be installing a wideband. I might, I have a wideband already. I'm just, I have another one. I might just run two widebands because on my exhaust headers, I don't have the bone on the, um, on one of the O2 parts. So I'm gonna just put a, a wideband there. Why not, right? Cool. All right, so a few things happened um, off the camera. I went and picked up the wide band from my brother. It's right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's not focusing. Anyways, it's a AM wide band, and a homeboy came by and dropped off this here for me. You already know, hybrid racing intake. So I'm a, I don't know if I wanna work on the car right now. I probably shouldn't, but I'm just gonna at least get the intake on the car right now. And then I'll probably do the wide band tomorrow. So, all right, cool. So the int, I have a stocked auto body. So I got this for like eight bucks at um, AutoZone. So this is gonna fit my stocked auto body and I bought this, it's a three inch uh, pipe to go in, to go in here, to go in here, so I can also put it back through here. So it'll fit. So that's the plan. I'm gonna uh, get it assembled and show you guys how it looks. All right, so this is the tube. This is the other part. Just gonna Pop it in here real quick. Oh, I gotta loosen this. Oh, damn. Just gotta loosen this real quick. So I have more leverage. Oh, shit. Any damage on? Car straight? Alright, cool. Why is it so difficult? I gotta make take three. Alright, this is completely loose now. So this is on there, on there, on there. I gotta loosen this some more. Yeah, so this is on there, on there, like proper fitted. Just tighten the bolt back up. And um, get this piece tightened up on there. Oh, shit. So I kind of jimmy rig, I don't know some things together. It's not really working how I want it to. I gotta go out and go get a three inch coupler, a whole three inch coupler to like a 2.75 or something to make sure that it works. But um, I'll show it to y'all tomorrow, see how it looks. So yeah, this is it for tonight and uh, tomorrow I'll pick up the camera again. Yo, yo. Like the next day, um, I recently just woke up like maybe half an hour ago I'm still not even fully woken up yet but um yeah this is what I have so far I kind of like rigged this up the hybrid racing intake for it to work it's pretty on there I gotta set the reservoir here I gotta figure that out um but now for today I want to get the white band installed and 
fix that reservoir. I'm gonna start with the wide band because I just want to get that out of the way. Um, I'm also thinking, should I cut this and run a single pod? Or should I put it in the steering column? I don't know. I might, I might just put a single pod here. Or I could just run it over there. I don't know. I might just run it in the steering column. Alright, so installing the wide band is pretty easy. You got the O2 sensor with the uh, adapter here. And um, your exhaust headers have... Um, well, should come with a bong or a little area that you can screw it in. Ah, mine has it right there, so I'm just gonna screw it in and tighten it, and then run the cable. Um, I'm gonna run the cable up here through the um beside the subframe, tie it up so it doesn't rest on the header itself. All right, so you just push it on, turn it. Then you want to tighten that right there. So, all right, so um, I got the O2 sensor in there, nice and you know firm. It's not going nowhere. And this little piece, I'm gonna kind of run it up here. Oh crap! So I can like catch it. I'm gonna rest it where I can catch it, and um, take it up and run the other piece. This is a piece that I'm going to connect. Well, this piece that I'm going to connect and um, run it through the firewall back into the car, so I can connect it to the actual gauge. So can I set the camera so y'all can see what I'm doing? cheap wow you just gonna fall crazy you know what I'm gonna just connect it you know what I'm gonna just connect it from the floor make my life easy Like bum, you got it. Already connected on on the floor. Um, this piece goes back into the gauge. I'm gonna run this back through the firewall. So I'm gonna try to push it. Oh man! I'm gonna push it up on the exhaust, grab it from um from on top, and run it back through the car. Hold on. All right. Got it right here. Um. So where I had my other wide band running through so I might just try to run this I might just run like try to tuck it properly so it's not like in the way like everything else and I'll run it through here don't mind the mess that you see down here it's gonna be tidied up pretty soon oh, I don't think you can see anything um so I'm gonna just Pull the wire through so you can see what it's like to like connect it into the gauge and then run the ground and the live. I'm gonna show you where I ran mine and then go from there. So being the ricer that I was, I had a oil pressure gauge that was hooked up into the car, but it wasn't hooked up officially. I just had the power on the grounds. So what I'm gonna do is for the wide band. I'm gonna connect the power on the ground to the wires that I ran to this, to this, and um, see if I get power. And then start the car, and then see if I'm getting reading, because I already connected the O2, so just give me a minute, I'm gonna get that in, show it to y'all. The gauge, on the back it has two slots. You can't really, you can't really mess them up, because, um, 
they have different sizes so as you can see this one this one goes here to the this side here so I'm gonna just plug it in like bomb gone in and then the other piece that I ran from the, the O2 sensor goes into the longer piece so what am I gonna do is I'm gonna already connected the the power source I'm gonna run it back into the bezel run it back through the dash and I'm um, already have a power and a ground I'm gonna connect those and see if they work if it gets power and then I can go ahead and connect the O2 and then start the car alright so I kinda have the wires the power in the ground sorted out so let's see if I have power to it yep and we got power cool so now I'm gonna put the other piece on and then start the car and see if I have actual reading all right so I connected it I'm gonna check it I'm gonna start the car and see if we have actual reading It's moving. Of course it's, I don't know. I'm gonna let the car warm up. That's telling me 10 4, so this is 11 11. So I guess it is working. The car runs very rich when it just starts up. I don't know why. I guess that's a part of the, how the tune is. But as it gets like really warm, it gets back to like. 13 14 so we'll see but um i'm actually gonna go set the wires better so i can have it flushed in the um in the dash and i'll show it to y'all all right so let's see what it is running hella rich right now I'm gonna let the car warm up and see from there I don't know I might need a retune I don't like the fact that both are in the tens right now on idle uh, warm up like when I give it a I did was put the intake on and yeah that's pretty much it I don't know I gotta figure this out though we'll see what happens so as you guys can see in the previous clip cars are running rich I don't know why um, I spoke to my tuner Jason from Prestige uh, Motorsports he said bring the car to him on Saturday because we are going to street race made safe on Saturday so before I head to Street Race Made Safe, I'm going to just stop by the Jason stop shop and figure out the issue there. Hopefully we can get it rectified in time because he has to be at PBIR by 5 o'clock. So I'm just going to hopefully get everything sorted out on Saturday and drive along with him to PBIR. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. The car starts fine. I drove it around the block. It drives fine too. So I don't know. The only thing I really did was I had a 
a loose bolt on the RBC. I tightened that and I put an intake. Um, I took the intake back off the car. Um, I added the white band and it's pretty much it. So I don't know why the car would run rich all of a sudden. So we'll see what happens. He's gonna look at the car on Saturday and hopefully we can get the, everything fixed. But I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. I don't wanna bore you for too long. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. Like the video, comment on the video. Um, let me know what your thoughts as to why it could just, you know, just start running rich all of a sudden. Um, share the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. You guys are awesome. Stay blessed.